Hey guys, this is Jeremy again. I want to teach a little bit about uh, the olive tree and how it represents the body of Messiah and us as individuals and uh, just give some maybe a little bit of insight on that. But I want to first show you a couple of pictures of what an olive tree looks like for those of you who are unfamiliar. I don't have a better way of showing pictures at this point, but this is the, the, the trunk of the olive tree. As you can see, it's got a lot of twisted um, patterns in there. I'll explain a little bit more what that is. But uh, I want to go back and show you just a picture of the tree itself now. Find a good one anyways. Here's another picture. It's a grove right there. Anyways, that's kind of what they look like. Uh, you see them in Israel. They got places in California and different whatnot. But I'm gonna pause this for a minute. So to get just a few things out of the way, um, I just want to bring some scriptures in uh, because I think it's kind of interesting. I'm not stating any uh, any facts aside from what I. Uh, read some of this stuff can be speculation, um, but it's just a possible insight, and y'all can throw that around and just see what you think about it. But in uh, Genesis chapter eight verse eleven is the first time that we see the olive branch mentioned, or the olive leaf in particular, and it's when uh, it says, "And the dove came into him in the evening, and lo, in her mouth an olive leaf plucked off." So Noah knew the waters were abated from off the earth. So this is when they were, uh, he was looking to make sure the waters were receded and they could get out and, uh, and then establish um, just, just life again after the destruction of the world from the flood. And so I, I believe that uh, the olive is a sign of hope as well um, because of the way that the structure of the tree is. There's, there's many things that we can learn from it. Um, in uh, Psalm 128.3 it mentions talking about uh, a man let his children be around his table as the olive olive shoots and if you know the structure of an olive tree um, you have different shoots you've got the main trunk and then you've got shoots that grow up individually around the the base of the olive tree and as they begin to grow they may seem to be of of, of an individual tree themselves but as they grow um, older they then are grafted into just like the twisted uh, which you when I showed you earlier that twisted picture they're grafted into the natural branch um, themselves which extends the life of the tree on through the generations so if there wasn't a grafting in and a carrying on of um, of the tree or uh, on a uh, on a basis of what I look at Yeshua he's our he's our main trunk he's who gives us our original life he breathes in us the breath of life he sustains all living and so he, he raises us up and then as we come into the knowledge of the truth and understand what the word of Elohim is then we are grafted into him it's not necessarily our own belief system that that we bring we, we, we're raised up and then we go tell people what we believe simply because it's a good idea and no, we want to base everything that we do off of Scripture and off of the main tree, the true vine, which is uh, through, through Yahweh and, and Yeshua. And so as we are grafted into the, the natural vine or the tree, um, we then extend or we pass on purity. We pass on truth because... Um, it's been instilled in us either from, from birth or it's because uh, when we come into covenant we graft into the main branch. So um, uh, there's a few things to look at um, in Exodus 27 verse 20 um, we're told that the olive oil is used for light um, to cause the lamps to burn always and continually and so and that's also in Leviticus 24 too and so that as Yeshua is the light of the world, when when He comes and dwells in us, when His Spirit dwells in us, uh, we become essentially a light of the world. Though we're not manifesting our own light, we're manifesting the light of Yeshua to the world. 
Um, and so it's not for us to get our own glory and seek our own glory out of this, but to give all glory and honor to the Father. Just like when Yeshua said, he said, if you see me, you see the Father. And so that's the way our lives should be. If people look at us, people, people learn from us every day of our lives. We're either teaching them something about, about the Father, our Creator, or we're teaching them something about the enemy, our adversary. And so whether or not you believe you're qualified to be a teacher or whether or not you feel that you're being an example, um, the truth of the matter is you are being an example. It's just which example, which, which area do you want to manifest? Do you want to, do you want to manifest uh, the light of the world or do you want to ma manifest the darkness that's the oppression of this world? And so as, as the olive oil is meant for a continual light, uh, which was also used in the temple, uh, let us be a continual light, which never is extinguished. Um, one of the first acts of care excuse me, for uh, producing olives, or for when, once the oil, uh, olives are harvested off the tree, one of the acts of care um, to provide uh, a better quality oil is a washing, uh, so that it eliminates the contaminants and things that will actually get into the oil. So just as we are commanded to wash ourselves um, by the word of Elohim with the renewing of our mind, um, it's very important for us to rid ourselves of the things of life that want to stick to us and contaminate us. Um, and there's, there's many forms of that. Um, so as, as you walk with the Father and, and you continue to walk in covenant, uh, seek the Father's direction on, on what is it to exactly walk as you walk um, for the servant is not greater than the master and and even Yeshua told his Talmudim his disciples he said are are you able to bear this this burden that I've bared are you able to walk this walk in which I've walked um, and for most of us that's we don't we don't even know the answers but uh, I encourage you to to press in and to walk as he walked um, and so it's important for us to wash our mind through, through the reading of Elohim's word. Um, just like David, he said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. And so that, um, so we, we won't be defiled. Let us remain pure in his word. Um, now, a, in, in the older times in which they had the original presses and stuff, um, there's maybe some processes that require a uh, heat element, but naturally with the process of uh, refining or, and producing olive oil, there is a pressing that has to happen. And so number one, we see that the, um, the oils were washed and then they are pressed. And that pressing is definitely not a comfortable thing um, because um, it reveals it reveals the things that are inside. We are actually, you know, the, the, the fruit is broken open. And, uh, and number one, it's not done as an individual thing either. They don't take one olive fruit and just press it. No, they, they take a lot of the olive, olive uh, fruit and, uh, and they press it at the same time, which is, uh, should be an example of us as working as a body of Messiah too. Um, we, we, th this is not a burden that we are bearing. It, it's it's a burden of, of our Creator that we are blessed to manifest, and um, and so let us not do things in our own strength, but rely on the strength of the Father. And so collectively with His strength, uh, we can get through these these trials. Uh, Psalm eleven five says, "The Lord, or Yahweh, trieth the righteous." And so remember that even as you're going through these pressings in life and these things that make us uncomfortable um, and, they, and they squeeze on us, um, that it's actually for our good because it's, it's showing us who we are, but also it's getting rid of um, the impurities in our life because uh, you know our Father, our Creator, is a consuming fire, but He's also a refining fire. And you see, olive oil has a flash point of like 800 degrees in which it'll ignite and, uh, and burn. And although it's it's good for burning as a light, um, don't it's it's important that we always go to the Father for our strength, and that we strive to be at peace, because if we don't, then the enemy is going to come and he's going to attack us in such a way that uh, when we're supposed to be 
being refined, you will get that flash point and will uh, will actually uh, will burn up, and that's not somewhere we want to be. So we want to we want to be a light for uh, unto the world in this darkness, but we don't want to be consumed um, by the enemy either or the trials that come to place. Um, now, when it comes to um, what we give of ourselves, uh, the first press in the olive oil is number one, it's the best tasting, it's got a lot of aroma to it, um, and also when you use it to burn with fire, as in a lamp, um, it doesn't produce smoke. And so there's um, everything that we do, we're supposed to do to the glory of the Father and our Messiah. And so let it be, at just as the first fruits which are spoken, you know, let us give the best that we can give, that we know how to give. Let us give that because um, we will be justly rewarded for those things. And in fact, we will be rewarded much more than our efforts that we put in. But let us give, let us give of the first fruits. And the first fruits are not, as a lot of preachers teach today, it's not just about, you know, your money. No, our first fruits are our time, our, our labors, even even our, our, our the talents or skills the Father has given us for, for work, um, uh, a kind word. There's many, many things that can be our first fruits. And so let our first press of all of, let our, our fruits um, be given to the Father because they're the most beneficial. And so um, it's important to also realize the, the root system, where we're planted. Because if you look at the soil, there's different types of soil, but the, but the olive tree in itself has, has shallow roots. Um, it doesn't have really, really deep roots, um, but it is one of the most sustainable trees, even in the drought season. And so the, the ruggedness of the olive tree um, is, is very interesting and it's unique. But, uh, but sometimes also in our own lives, we have to be willing to be uprooted in the things that we've grown in. Uh, we have a lot of paganism or some people, um, there's traditions of man that have been added to uh, the ways that we live. There's so many of these things that as we come and be a peculiar and set apart people, a uh, Kodesh people, you know, scriptures or, or Yahweh says, be ye holy as I am holy. Um, and, and we're told to come out from the, from, from the things of this world and be separate, just like the, the Sabbath day was the first covenant that, that all he made with a man, made with us, is to set us apart from all other nations. And so, um, you know, it's Let's let's take a lot of pictures from this uh, from this olive tree. You know, give us Father, give us give us shallow roots. If if we need to move from one place to the next, um, it doesn't mean we're taking the soil off of our roots. You know, we're not trying to expose and, and die, but let us be trans uh, transplantable if we need to be. And then also, um, you know, <clears throat> the scripture says that we are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its savor, where, where we shall it be seasoned? If, if we continually um, just gain knowledge of Scripture and we're not actually giving it away, um, that's also, we're going to get a buildup of salt. And if you look at the root systems um, with the olive tree, if there's too much salt buildup in the soil because we're not giving it out, it's actually an endangerment to the tree. It will actually, uh, so much salt will cause the roots to, to be diseased or, or um, actually uh, burnt up. So there's just, I, I know there's a, probably a lot more that can be pr brought into this, um, but it's just a lot of food for thought that I'm really wanting to give you guys. So, so let us be as the olive tree. Number one, we don't work individually, but as, as the children around the table, so shall the shoots be of children. Uh, um, on, on the tree as these these shoots are come up individually around the main trunk let us grow and be grafted into the main trunk so that we can go out as a body and be the light to the to the world L let us be that uh, the oil as in the candles that continually burns forever and so um, Anyways, I hope that's just a little bit of food for thought that you guys can uh, can enjoy, and uh, feel free to.
comment or ask any questions, and I'll do some more research. So anyways, blessings to you. Thank you.